Hello, 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 and welcome to this video where I go through uh, the time where I beat every get every map, every track, whatever, in uh, Art of Rally. There's a lot of them. Uh, so this is something slightly different to the games that I normally do, but it's something that I do quite a lot on stream and that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this talking. To start off with, there are 1,920 tracks, and to try and say how long uh, that is, in the background you're of course seeing all the records all, uh, that I set, all the times that I set, and each one is on screen for uh, one second. This video is 32 minutes long. There are 1,920 tracks. These are made up of um, six tracks per country, in eight countries and each track can be played forwards and backwards with 12 tracks with two being um, rain and dry so you can play them twice so 24 times 8 192 tracks and then there is 10 car classes the triwheeler the van the uh, Dakar, the logging truck, they're the bonus vehicles, they're the ones that started with. Then you've got group 2, group 3, group 4, group B, group S and group A. It was a hell of a grind, it took about 6 months with a few breaks with an entire going down of the servers and it took even longer than that since I first tried doing this where I was going to do it and I started going through and had all of Finland in group 2 done before I kind of just burned out on it and gave up but with the release of Australia happening just after XTWC where I'd ground a hell of a lot for that I decided to jump into it um, and yeah it was it was interesting and I'm just going to talk about that I guess for this video so yeah here comes the very rambly bit um, all in it took me quite a lot of time I think in game time I added another 150 hours to my total maybe something like that can't quite tell um, but if I quickly check my YouTube stats while I'm talking so the reason I did this was I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to do it to have my name on every uh, every leaderboard Big shout out to Schnellfahren, who is the only other person we know to have done this. Difference between me and him. He's got some offline records. I haven't. <laughs> I made sure that all online records on leaderboards, people can see them. But yeah, it's still a massive thing. Uh, I also, while doing this, did all of the records on speedrun.com for the 12 track custom rally leaderboards. I was going to have to play every track anyway. I thought I might as well do it in custom rally uh, as I go along. Fortunately those games are played on um, no damage because I don't think I would have been able to do it if I'd had damage I think because uh, I have done 12 track custom rallies with damage on and I would have terminaled so many times it would have taken a lot longer. My total playlist length though is 4 days 21 hours 32 minutes and 47 seconds quite a lot of time to crack through every single stage in the game uh, that is across 161 videos because at the end I had missed one stage I had missed group 4 uh, what was it um, in Australia group 4 the one that begins with an L and I can't think of what the name of it is let me check that video um, yeah it was a hell, a hell of a grind. We, it, I'm thank you to anyone who just stopped by the stream while I was doing it, because it really was incredible uh, to play with everybody. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very appreciative of all of that. Apologies for this being a little bit of a mess. I'm looking at what track I missed. Lake Lucernia. That's the one that I missed. Uh, in reverse, I missed it. I fucked it up when creating the 12 stage. Oh, in the wet as well. I fucked it up when creating the 12 stage rally uh, for that run. It got verified, 
turbo missed it as well so I don't feel too bad about that but I have been back I have finished that one yeah it was a hell of a grind and I'm glad I did it because it was incredibly fun and it also allowed me to kind of go for something that I wanted to do in Art of Rally because when I play Mario Kart I always have trouble picking tracks for things like Mario Kart it's why I like playing Xenotic Defrag rather than Quake 3 Defrag. I don't have to pick a map, the game picks it for me. And when I play Mario Kart, I have to pick a track, but I tend to just look at my records, look what my weakest record is, either in terms of the leaderboard position or the um, overall uh, standards for Mario Kart. And I try to improve them all and get them all very good. I want I, I loved it when Mario Kart 64 was going for 1.0 average finish, winning every single track in the game. Because it shows total mastery of everything. So I want to get my score as uh, the, and the overall score as low as possible with doing this. So we made a script which should also be on screen somewhere with all of the that prints out all of the times because there is a fantastic thing called leaderboards.txt and that has all of your times. So if you ever want to see what the first track you played in was, uh, go find the leaderboards.txt file. The uh, links to the scripts will be in the description because some really cool work that uh, Felix is doing on those. Big shout out to Felix because I was just kind of getting back into it with group four, uh, group three and group four. After group two finished, I sort of dropped off a bit. That was 50% and the hard work was done because the bonus vehicles had been done. And group two kind of is an extra bonus vehicle. It controls completely differently to everything else in the game. I do love group two though. Um, and yeah, thank you to Felix for I meant, came by my stream and I mentioned I wanted to make this script and he wrote up a very basic starting thing but it was the things that I didn't know how to make so he'd made the things that I didn't I couldn't do and I was able to iterate on that and he was helping me and he's making a really cool database now for using that file uh, to talk a little bit about how that file works every time you set a uh, a record on a track the game goes in sets the track name the direction whatever sets the time you set it in that will then be edited if you ever get a new PB on that track uh, and it will edit that line so your first track ever that you ran in the game will still be at the top of that file for me it was the first stage of Sardinia in reverse of course in um, group 2 when I first got the game and jumped into the career mode uh, it's quite cool to be able to look back at that even if I can't see what car I actually used and I can't see what time I got on that day it's nice to know what the first track was and forever for me the last track in mixed in there is all of the uh, all of the uh, weeklies and dailies so the interesting thing for me now is that everything that I do will always and forever be weeklies and dailies I would never have another new track so it would just be adding weeklies and dailies to that list uh, yeah so the total time that I spat out was a, sh a hair over I believe an hour and a bit over the um, four day mark four days of total time within the game so that's kind of a cool number because it means I can actually kind of push and think about getting times below the hour. There was also, I think Japan is only six minutes above uh, four, 14 hours. So that's a good one to push for. Germany, I've already broken the, uh, I think 14 hours, 30 minutes or something. But again, it was also interesting to see the uh, different countries how do they stack up and then compare them in the rain so that script is super super cool and honestly I went on a mad tear after it got past group 3 I realised that group B, S and A could be cracked out in if I did two runs a day so one whole country wet and dry I could crack it out in a month it would only be a little over a month with those 
and I ended up doing it in a week and a half, I think, because I ended up doing uh, eight runs a day, so fast that I couldn't upload them to YouTube in time. It was absolutely mad towards the end. I put in nine and a half hours on the last day, did a couple more eight-hour days, absolutely. And the great thing was, I finished, wasn't burned out. Immediately the next day, I was like, what do I want to do? I want to go play Catface. I want to play the Catface Rally Club. So yeah, it's been a fantastic thing. I'm really, really glad I did it. I hope that this inspires you to try and push for something. Maybe to grab the script, because the script can get uh, some pretty detailed stuff. So if you want to try and get your best time across all courses in Germany, for example, and just push Germany to its limit, you can do that. Um, and that, I think it's a really cool way to compare people to have their total times compared across tracks. The Rally DB script is going to be better, but I like the simplicity and the overallness of you have to do a fair bit. I think the minimum that you can say is either an entire class or an entire country. An entire class in every country or an entire country in every class. Rain and dry, yeah, some people hate the rain, but I think you've got to be able to master it to say for a full sort of game type thing. So yeah, that's where I am now. I've done it all. I've beaten the game. It's 100, 100%. This was one of the first games. I think this is the first game on Steam I've 100% completed uh, achievements wise. And then to 100, 100%, I, I'm going to say 101% complete it. Uh, because one of the, the least got achievement in the game which is technically the easiest achievement to get, is win, um, or sorry, race 1,000 rallies. And quite a lot of people, takes people quite a long time to do that. It's technically the easiest because you're guaranteed to get it if you just keep playing, whereas I don't think any others are, uh, other than possibly like finish one stage or something like that. But, you know, in theory, you could play only the first year of um, Group 2 or something like that and if you continue or if you continuously potentially you could do the thousand stages without getting 500 kilometers on a car maybe even uh, so you don't get comfy seats It'd be interesting to see someone try for that but doing this challenge I did 1920 unique individual tracks and I'm gonna guess that I did 80 tracks that were repeats between playing a few weeklies having to repeat some of the tracks because I messed up the uh, the full thing I uh, like I said I missed the one on Australia right at the end in group 4 but I also missed one in Germany and I got some settings wrong in Norway in group 2 so I did a few, I would say I definitely did 2,000 stages during this, 100% in fact, because I was doing weeklies a bit, dailies, cat face, everything like that. But it, it was a great, it, it was really good fun. It was really, really good fun and I'm very, very glad I did it. I'm going to enjoy having all these screenshots on the screen running behind for future me to look at have a look how slow I was because I will be going back and trying to optimize some of these you know I want to get that under four days getting it under four days is probably going to require me going back to the bonus vehicles because while it is easy to improve my times on group two three uh, you know I did a group a Norway speedrun in preparation for the cat face that's coming up soon it's going to be in Norway the next round uh, so I did a 12 track group a and I beat all but two of my PBs during that. Uh, and I believe I knocked off three minutes off of my previous total. So there's going to be quite a bit of a PB improvement in that Norway and the Group A section. But there's no way I'm going to bring it down an hour without looking at the logging truck and the Dakar and the Triwheeler, which was an absolute nightmare. But I've played with every car in the game, every class, every stage i haven't done every car on every stage but hey you know it's pretty pretty close and i think that's kind of the most you can possibly get away with doing every single car in the game there is no more content for this game but hey we'll uh we'll move on we'll keep playing because it is an enjoyable game to keep playing 
and I'm going to let the rest of this video roll out because I don't have anything else to say. So enjoy the rest of the video, enjoy the, uh, the music from the game and cheers Turbo for running the speedrun leaderboards, validating all my runs, absolute legendary work. Cheers to the devs, cheers to everyone on Discord and all of that. Cheers to the people who watched. Come watch me play Art of Rally. It would be a pleasure to uh, have people to talk to while I play the game and try to break some records. And uh, now I get to push and, you know, rather than one shotting everything, I get to push a little bit and re grind and practice and go for some time trials. So that's going to be incredibly good. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, watch some of my Zonotic content as well. We might as well just throw, you know, this is the middle of a 30 minute video. I'm only 16 minutes into this. So I do Zonotic world record reviews. Go watch them. I do, um, I do speed running of other games. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to hold myself to some stuff that I've been looking at, but you know, I've been playing some other stuff. Yeah, go check me out if you've found this video. Thank you so much for getting this far. Thank you. Tell me if you beat some of my records or if this inspires you to do a challenge, do it. It's great fun. Good crack. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you around on the internet.